Good morning, you guys. It's our first day here in Galapagos. What an exciting start. Already saw a green turtle swim right by the boat and a shark, actually. Ooh, our first shark, huh? We're about to have breakfast. They have a beautiful omelet bar set out for us, all these fresh fruits. It's absolutely incredible. So for our first day here, we're gonna explore Española Island. It's supposed to have some of the best wildlife. Our guide made us super excited. Hopefully we see so many animals today. Yeah, he said get ready. He said it's probably one of the best days on our first day, so that's amazing. <laughs> Pretty amazing, surrounded by sea lions, red crabs. Water is so turquoise and so clear. It's gonna be a good day. As soon as we got to Espanola Island, we hopped off the panga ride and we can see crabs on all of the rocks. We have the sea lion welcome committee. Morning, we have like lizards on top of sea lions, red iguanas, huge pelicans. There's already so much wildlife, and I'm literally still on the pier. So, pretty incredible. Those are wonderful swimming. They are great divers. So if I heard our guide Luis correctly, this island, Espanola Island, has its own species of marine iguanas, the lava lizards, its own giant tortoise, it has the Galapagos hawk, it has its own mockingbird, so there's so many species of animals that are only found on this island. Oh, and the albatross. We've seen all of them, I think, except for the albatross so far. And the giant tortoise, but hopefully we get to see those soon. At night, it's very dramatic during the whole season. Wow, we just came across these two mama sea lions who have just given birth to their baby pups. They are only hours old. The umbilical cord is still attached and the babies are nursing. It's such like a wildlife moment. It's pretty insane. We're so lucky, it's amazing. <laughs> so lucky. Just I mean, starting, this is the first 50 feet of the beach. Wow. And we have that one? There. <laughs> Oh, and the hawk is on the ground over there, and there's like a whole ball of iguanas in just this one area. Wow. Uh. Espanola Island is one of the very top Galapagos highlights and quickly became one of our favorite islands we visited. It is located in the southeast of the Galapagos and is one of the oldest islands in the archipelago at approximately 4 million years old. Tommy, what are they eating? <laughs> placenta. <laughs> <laughs> Two hawks eating placenta. with the sea lion and baby behind you. The Galapagos sea lions are definitely the stars of the show this week. They are incredibly adorable and playful, especially the pups. The female sea lion will vocalize with her pup immediately after birth and the pup will instinctively reply. This interaction can continue for 20 minutes or more after birth. The pups are born with their eyes open and can already vocalize and are surprisingly very active. The mom will also smell and nuzzle her pup. This will all help establish the mother-pup bond and we felt incredibly lucky to be there to witness the interaction. Oh. 
Oh, these babies are so cute. They make the funniest little noises. We have two more behind us here. This one seems to be very active though. Mama looks very tired. hours and hours here. I feel like we move on so quickly, but we're here for like a good 30 minutes just spending so much time with the sea lions. So many babies, they're playing. It's a great viewing area for wildlife. I want to camp out here for the night. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be very careful where you step. This is rocky terrain and There are so many animals everywhere. Española Island's biggest wildlife pool is the Galapagos Waved Albatross. Española is the only island where you can find this magnificent seabird and the only place on the planet where waved albatrosses come each year to nest and breed. We were lucky enough to witness them doing their mating dance, which was such a highlight for us. I just saw a couple of waved albatross that are endemic to Española Island. So amazing. They were actually doing their mating dance, which is super unusual for this time of year. So we're so lucky that we got to see that. And to top it all off, there is a baby chick albatross with all of its fluffy brown feathers. And the parents just keep going and checking on him and then going back and doing their dance and going and checking on him. Wow. Their dance is super unusual, like Sammy said. They kind of bob back and forth to each other, and they come up and rub their beaks back and forth, like almost like they're kissing. <laughs> Amazing. Hello, where are you from? Oh, red. Step on the bird poop. <laughs> Española is the driest island in the Galapagos. While the terrain is mostly flat, there are some small hills. Because of the arid climate, the vegetation is mostly thorny plants. Our last stop on Española Island was at El Soplador, or the Blower. 
It is a blowhole that can spout water up to 75 feet in the air. That blowhole just about wraps up our time on Española Island. We are hiking back the same way that we hiked in. We're heading back to the Zodiac to head back to the boat. And I think we're gonna have like maybe a snack or lunch or something and then head on to the next activity, which I think is snorkeling. Do they want us swimming? So I'm super psyched after that amazing island on Española. We're having a very fancy lunch. Our chef back here is grilling up some shrimp, tuna. We have, oh, look at that bird. <laughs> I was saying shrimp, tuna, octopus, some veggies. Looks amazing. Wow, by far the most exciting lunch we've had yet. So much delicious seafood. Let's dig in. So along with the seafood grill, we also have grilled pineapples, rice with lentils. There are like five different kinds of sauces to put on your seafood, on your vegetables. There's assorted fresh veggies and salad. Absolutely incredible lunch. And we're so hungry after that long walk and so ready to dig in. After lunch, we're having a calm, quiet session on our balcony, digesting, and then we will go snorkeling. The water is so crystal clear, turquoise blue. It's so inviting. It makes you want to just jump in right now. We're gonna have a coffee, rest, and then jump in. All right, time to do some snorkeling. Sammy, you ready? I'm ready. Please go. Go ahead. Hold on, let's run to the open sea. Cause I'm not escaping the way that comes to me. Just made it back to our room. What an awesome snorkeling experience. Highlights, the stingray was amazing. So big, it's like he was eating something. The sea lion swimming below us. Starfish, all the colorful fish and the coral. Awesome experience. What a great day. I think now we're gonna head to a beach. 
Looks like a white sand, beautiful beach just to relax. So after snorkeling, we had the choice to either just relax on the boat or go to this beautiful white sand beach. The sun went away, so it's perfect weather. Such fine white sand. The water here is absolutely gorgeous. It's like that turquoise, light blue, especially when the sun comes out. I didn't know they had such primo beaches here in the Galapagos. Sammy's actually back at the boat, just relaxing. Hola. Hola. This is a beautiful white sandy beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in the Galapagos. So it's pretty amazing this beach he showed us this these whale bones that's been here for over 18 years sad but one died many years ago and they collected the bones and kind of reshaped it which is pretty awesome he's coming to say hello what's up buddy <laughs> can't plan that <laughs> you can't have my bag bro no, you can't have that. No. All right, man. See you later. Wow. What an amazing day. So much wildlife. Snorkeling was fantastic. Everything's great besides these flies. They won't leave me alone. <laughs> can't wait to show you guys more. I think tonight we just have sunset on top of the boat and then a nice dinner. See you guys then. which are shrimp in butter and garlic. We have chicken cordon bleu, couscous, assorted veggies, and all kinds of fruit, cheese, and for dessert, we have a strawberry shortcake. It all looks absolutely amazing, and we're so hungry after a full day of adventuring. Wow, such a fantastic first day. Oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted in the best way possible. Delicious dinner. Couldn't ask for a better first day. See you guys tomorrow for another adventure day. Okay.